Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, I wanted to to do just a little video here on um just some random um, lights that I got from uh, opera lights that I got just from a junkyard pick um, when I was picking up some other items. And um, the car next to me was like an '83 Buick uh, Lesabre. And um, when I looked up, I saw that they had the opera lights still on them. And um, um, I've never actually had opera lights before. And so I just took them off just because they were there, just because I wanted to see kind of what they're all about and kind of do some research on them and, and whatnot. And um, I thought, well, shoot, if I can get them to work, whatever, maybe I could stick them like inside the car on like a pillar or something to see how that would look on my um, Caprice or... Um, or just toy with the idea of uh, maybe putting it like um, right beside that quarter glass. Um, and I kind of laid it there just to kind of see how it looked. And it actually looked pretty dang good. Um, and so, um, and being that they never, or at least to my knowledge, never came on the 77 through 79 Caprices, only in like the um, the 80s models and uh, into the late 80s models, you see them, um, the opera lights there on the little B pillar. Um, I thought it'd just be something different if I ever decided to do it. I'm not 100% sold on it yet, um, but I at least wanted to kind of attack the I um the uh the uh, process of at least looking at them and kind of see what makes them work. So um so I opened one up and uh, this is how it comes with original. So it has four wires in it, um um two that basically run. This was a long wire that connected to the other end of here. And then, uh, and then this is your wires that uh, actually run from the actual lights themselves in the car. Um, there's like a relay, which is called like an inverter, and I guess um, it uh, provides a different type of voltage to these lights right here, which is basically looks like a piece of tape, um, but I guess they're called L lights or electro uh, luminescent lights, and um, and they run a little bit differently than your normal lights, and it's basically just a piece of tape. Um, that lights up pretty much. I mean, not like actual tape, but they call it L tape. Um, but it still has these two little wires there. And you actually can go buy, you can buy, um, you can buy the L tape here. And I've seen um, a video. There's not a whole lot of videos on this, but I did see not a video, but a write up on a guy who actually um, has a, a write up on how to do this. And so you buy the. The new tape and then you can actually um, take this one off and then um, either solder I think you can solder these wires into the tape and then get you a new inverter you know, inverter just looks like a little relay um, and it basically is supposed to make them work again um, however the process of doing that is just a little different and it's kind of like um, you know like your old school way of doing it and I wanted to see if I could uh, tap in some LEDs and try it that way so um, the only thing that I didn't like because since this is about the LEDs is because I like the solid look so that way when you have um, this clear lens on it you can just get a solid color and everything lights up um, and people I have seen putting LEDs on them and I've, I had these are just extras that I had from my um, for my tail lights but you probably can't tell in the video but um, if you can see the individual LED lights there, um, and the video looks like it's all one one light, um, <clears throat> but when you actually put when I actually put this lens um, over it, um, you can actually kind of still see the individual lights. And I don't really I don't dislike it, but I don't really care for it too much. Um, so what I did is actually um, I I looked at frosting. And if you guys have ever seen that, you can frost clear lenses. And um, you can just do it with regular sandpaper and you do it in steps. So um, if you can see how clear they are next to each other, if I can actually put one next to each other and see. Um, now this isn't gonna look as clear as it actually really is because it's still attached and I haven't broken it apart yet. But I mean, you can kind of tell just from looking at it um, it would look a lot more clear if this was actually, uh, I actually took it off and I can't cause it's all epoxy together, but I have to cut it out. But if it was, um, off, then you would basically be able to see right through this one and this one you can't, I mean, you can kind of see, 
um, my fingers in the back, but if I move them, you can't even see through that lens. But that one, if it was off, it would go straight through. You'd be able to see um, everything behind it right here. But the only reason why you can see my fingers is because I have them pressed really close. Um, so what I did with this one is I actually um, used 80 grit sandpaper, scuffed it up real good. Then I, and I did both sides. Um, and I used uh, 120 to follow to kind of smooth it out and then I used a, a 180 and now it's actually pretty dang smooth and you can't really see any lines or any scuff marks and I didn't like go ham in it I didn't go hard on it I just kind of just slightly scuffed it up and it frosted it um however it's still probably not as as uh as deep of a frost that I would like because when I put it on here I mean you could still see the lights through it all of the video is not really showing um showing it too clear it actually the video makes it look like it's one lit light um but you can keep so you can still kind of see the individual leds it's a lot better than this than the uh than that when i put it on when it was clear um so what i think i'm gonna do to see if i can frost it more is they actually make frost um that comes in a spray can so you can spro uh you can frost uh, like glass windows and stuff like that and uh um, you can also use it on plastic. So what I think I might do is, is try that and see how much more it frosts it out and see if I can get a more solid color, um, a reflection through to make it all kind of like one bright color. Um, and I might take it a step further and use a matte, uh, clear coat to kind of like, uh, make it a little bit more dull um, as well too so um, we'll see I mean these are really cheap from the junkyard I mean they were like I think I bought them for like 10 bucks or something like that so really cheap so uh, you know I mean they're still going to be usable um, and um, I'm just going to try it out and see kind of how that works and um, from here what I'd probably do is just take off the um, this piece here and then I could put the LED strips right here and then um, put the lens back on top and then I you know this is here as well so then I could uh, feed the line for the LEDs through here and then um, and then epoxy it all together then I have LED lights so um, just so you guys can kind of see what these are like so again these are like from like an 84 the saber Buick the saber or something so um, that's what the chrome piece looks like over the top right here and then um, and this is just your uh, like your rubber boot kind of like a gasket so that way because um, this was actually over a, a vinyl top so you had kind of like your your rubber gasket sitting against the vinyl um, then you had this and it basically sat behind it and so you have a you have the outline of the um, the gasket kind of showing around it not much and then and then um, the only thing you can see is uh, is the chrome piece right on top of it so um, but yeah y'all yeah, I mean the chrome's actually in decent shape no crazy pitting or anything like that there's a little bit but but not too bad um, so we'll see. I mean, like I said, I'm not sold on actually setting it in the car or outside of the car quite yet. But, you know, I'm always, you know, messing around with things. As you guys know, I'm pretty hands on. And if I can come up with an original idea that's, you know, that kind of separates me from others, um, then I'll deal with that. You know, some ideas I actually don't even post on. I just kind of just, you know, mess around and just see what stuff looks like and, you know, whatever. And then uh, if it doesn't work, whatever, I'll just keep it moving. So, um, but yeah, y'all, so I'm just messing with the ideas of uh, frosting these lenses and then, and then we'll see how it turns out. So if, if um, being that the LEDs are so, might be so close um, to the, uh, the lens, I still might see, you still might be able to see a little bit of those individual lit um, LEDs and if that's the case then that'd be okay um, but I'm just trying to make it just as a solid color as I can so um, that way it doesn't look too tacky so 
Um, some people might not think it looks tacky, but I kind of like the idea of just having this whole thing lit as one light. So, um, you know, and I can always go back to the, the L lights if I choose. So we'll see. All right, y'all. So uh, we'll holla at y'all later and, uh, and um, I'll keep you posted. Um, again, this might not be for a while, but at least just wanted to show kind of what I was doing um, just because I had got done sanding that. So, all right. Talk to y'all later. Peace.